guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric Bravo and in case you're new to the channel, I created the Nickelodeon cartoon short The Outsiders and wrote the book How to Get an Animation Internship. I'm currently a PA script coordinator on the show Rise of the TMNT and Nickelodeon and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to get an animation internship at a major studio. I'll be covering topics like what to put on your cover letter, how to get experience on your resume, and interview etiquette. So without further ado, let's get started. As a senior at UC Davis about ready to graduate, I decided to stay another year to pursue the entertainment industry and was lucky enough to land three studio internships. In my super senior year, I got to intern at Warner Brothers Records in the International Marketing Department, Nickelodeon Animation Studios in the Vault Department where they keep all the cool asset background paintings, original animation cells, and DreamWorks Animation Studio on the movie Penguins of Madagascar. I seized the opportunity at Nickelodeon and went from being an intern to a creator writer of my very very own cartoon short, The Square. Outsiders. Also had an opportunity to interview with amazing companies such as Pixar, Lucasfilm, and Live Nation. From applying, interviewing, and participating in these internship programs, I've gathered some tips and insight from recruiters, past interns, and from my own experience that might help better your chances when applying to animation internships. Having experienced firsthand the lack of information out there on how to get an animation internship, I started the Storyboard Room, where I share my experience and give insight to students pursuing an animation internship. The information in this video should start you on the right path to landing an internship at your dream studio. So we're first going to talk about cover letter. Your cover letter is your first impression. In your cover letter, you should convey a little bit about your personality, but still keep it professional. You'll want to include who is it addressed to, for example, Dear Nickelodeon Animation Studios, who you are, that should include your name, background information, and school, what position you are applying to and why, and how you and your experience is a good fit for this position. In your cover letter is also a chance to prove that you are able to communicate well in writing, a skill highly valuable as you'll need to take great notes in most internship programs. Part two, the second section is join a club or organization. Internships are a bit of a catch-22 as they are geared towards those who need experience, but most internship programs expect you to have some sort of experience prior. If you are hesitant to apply because you believe you don't have enough or any experience in the animation industry, there are ways to gain experience to put on your resume. One great way is to join a club or organization at your school related to animation, anime, or film. I really wanted to break into the music industry and I had no experience in that field so I volunteered for my college radio and, and I put that volunteering experience on my resume and this showed I was doing something music related and I was taking action towards that. I'd strongly suggest applying this to the animation industry. Join an animation club or film club and try to run for a position within the club, whether it's treasury or even president. If there aren't any clubs like this at your school, start one. It'll be even better experience showing the studios that you are taking initiative and it shows that you're passionate. The third part, apply to entertainment studios, not just animation studios. Even if you have your heart set working in the animation field as an intern, you have the special power to jump from industry to industry. If you've been applying to an internship only at Pixar or Cartoon Network and haven't been accepted yet, try applying to internships in the music or film industry at Warner Brothers, Lionsgate, or Live Nation. Your current skills and experience might be a better fit for another industry. And once you have a major entertainment studio on your resume, no matter what the industry is, it will open doors for you and it'll help you land internships at other major studios, including animation studios. I stumbled upon this method and it works. After my internship at Warner Brothers Records in the music industry, I was able to interview at various animation studios just because I had Warner Brothers on my resume. See the bigger picture and find different ways to get to your end destination. Your opportunity for internships are limited to your time as a student and you'll want to maximize these internship opportunities. Internships are a great way to network and get your foot in the door. Part four is be willing to relocate. If you want to break into the industry and don't live close to LA, you should be open to relocating. But now with COVID, I know some studios are going virtual with their internship programs, which is great if you don't live close to a studio, but it also brings in a much larger application pool because basically anyone from anywhere in the country can apply while we are still quarantined. 
However, when we're allowed to travel safely and studios are beginning to open up, it would be beneficial if you are willing to relocate, even for a semester. During my internship with Nickelodeon, I had fellow interns who came all the way from Illinois and New York for this unpaid internship. Fortunately today, Nickelodeon is now a paid internship, and I know it's not easy and can take a cut in your savings, especially for college students, but most internships now are paid, and there are some other ways to keep your costs low. For example, you can find yourself a sublet for your current apartment and use that money to rent a spot in LA. And you could also find cool part-time jobs like being an extra or background actor on a TV show or movie. I used to do this during my internship since I was interning four days a week. I would use my free time to be an extra on a TV show. I was on 90210, the Taylor Swift music video, and even a Spotify print ad. And it was great because I got paid, I met new people in the industry, and I got free breakfast and lunch. Not to mention, I got to experience the amazing feeling of being on a live set. If you'd like to know more about background acting and how you could get involved, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make a video showing you guys how you could become an extra on a movie or a TV show. If you are accepted to an internship program and faced with this location dilemma like I was, just keep one thing in mind when weighing your options. Don't let school get in the way of your education. I almost turned down my internship offer because of school and I didn't want to delay my graduation at the time. I eventually realized that I could always go back to school, but I couldn't always guarantee an internship opportunity at a major animation studio. And this internship actually helped me start a career. With this internship, I was able to meet a ton of people. I was able to get a job from it. I was even able to pitch a cartoon and get it made. If I didn't accept that internship offer, I don't know what my career would look like now. And the last thing we're gonna talk about today is on-site interview. If your phone interview goes well, and if the recruiter invites you to an on-site interview. Expect there to be around two or three rounds of interviews lasting up to two or more separate days, depending on how you do each round. During these interviews, you are usually meeting with various employees from different productions. What they're looking for is to see if and where your personality fits and with which production or department. Be professional in these interviews. Even though it's the animation industry and everyone is pretty laid back, you should still dress to impress. Not only does this apply when interviewing for internship, but also when you're interning at the Studio. Consider these internships as the longest job interview you will ever have, and by dressing sharp, you'll stand out and will be remembered. During my internship at Nickelodeon, an executive saw me dressed up in slacks and a button-up and a tie and complimented my attire. Definitely not a bad person to impress. My last and final tip is to be an off-season intern. Most students apply for internships during the summer, which makes these programs very competitive, especially for the highly sought-out studios like Pixar. If you want to better your chances, apply during the off season, fall or spring semester, and take some classes at your college during the summer instead. All of my internships were either during the fall or spring semester. I remember when I applied to Warner Brothers Records in the summer program and didn't hear back from them. I reapplied for the fall program without changing a thing on my resume and I received three interviews all in various departments. With that being said, still apply every chance you get. You might be one of the lucky ones who get into a summer program. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and if you have any questions at all leave them in the comment section down below I'll do my best to answer them don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more on careers of animation and if you'd like to dive more in depth to securing an animation internship consider checking out my book how to get an animation internship this book contains helpful tips and insightful knowledge from industry professionals and recruiters and it also includes all of my resumes and cover letters that got me each and every one of my internships so you can see firsthand what studios look for. In addition, I provide a resume template to inspire the design of your resume to make it look more professional and clean. It already helps students land internships at major animation studios like DreamWorks and Mica. If you're interested, click on the link in the bio down below. Until next time, stay tuned, stay safe out there. Alright guys, bye.